Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. Today I would like to talk about one of the what's new features in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2018, using connected alignments. So let's talk about a particular situation where you might want to use a, a connected alignment. Here in my model, I've got a typical situation where I have got two roads intersecting each other. And this is at a 90 degree angle, but this is a pretty typical scenario. We might use the intersection object to create this intersection, but today what we're going to do is create what's called a connected alignment. So we've got an offset alignment for our cul-de-sac road and an offset alignment for our main road here that we're connecting to. Also here in our model, we have our profiles for both roads. So what we're going to do is just create that connected alignment. What creating a connected alignment will do is it'll allow this, this particular part of the road here at the edge of pavement to stay connected to this part of the road here on the cul-de-sac road. All right, this is, this is a pretty huge thing because if you've ever had to build these manually and trying to find the elevations here at the curb returns, it's a, it's a really kind of a painstaking thing to keep those aligned uh, especially in the middle of designs because this this road center line may be moving up and down because you're trying to tweak your design and if this roadway design moves up and down this cul-de-sac road needs to also adjust using a connected alignment actually keeps that all solid what we're going to do is we're going to create that connected alignment so I'm going to select create a connected alignment prerequisite for this is you need that offset alignment here on the edge of pavement for your main road and your cul-de-sac road so I'm going to select my offset alignment on my main road and I'm going to select the offset alignment for my cul-de-sac road. Now it asks me to pick a location for my connected alignment. My connected alignment needs to be on this side here, right here. This will be like the southeast side. So I pick and it asks if I want to pick another location. I'm just going to hit enter and I could go up and start to fill some things out. So the connected alignment name, I would typically name this something that I would remember, all right? And I would always encourage that. So I'm just going to say this is the entrance right cul-de-sac road, all right? So my curve radii, I know it's a 27-foot curve, all right? That's that curve radii right there. And I'm going to give it a 10-foot overlap. So it's going to overlap back on each alignment 10 feet to hold that elevation. All right, so I'll go ahead and hit OK, and it creates that alignment. Now, I need to be, I, I want to be able to, to see how this is really going to affect me. So I'm going to create a profile view for that particular alignment. All right, so if I go up to my profile view and I hit Create Profile View, I'll just select that new alignment that I just built. And... I'll next through this, hit Create Profile, and I can see right here, there is my new vertical profile that's connected. All right, if I select that connected profile, you can see this is the 10-foot overlap that is right here on this side. It's on this side of the, uh, the, the cul-de-sac road, and this is the 10-foot that's actually going into the cul-de-sac road. All right, so let's see how that gets affected if something happens to the vertical. So if I was to move this vertical profile up, watch this vertical profile here in my connected alignment. If I was to actually move this up and make this a crown instead of a sag, you can see that this adjusts, all right? This is huge, all right? This is, uh, this is something that we've battled for a long time and being able to actually have to pull elevations at each one of those curb returns. If you have that labeled, it will update those labels. So I can pull this back down. All right, that's on my cul-de-sac road. I could also adjust my vertical alignment here on my center line of my main road, and it would adjust this side also. So if I grab that, uh, let me grab the right alignment there. If I grab my vertical alignment and I drop this down, you can see that my vertical, my vertical profile for my connected alignment has adjusted. I can move this back up. And you can see that it adjusts. Now we have some more control here I'd like to show. So if you grab that vertical alignment, so right here, we may not want this water to actually turn and go down into this cul-de-sac area. We may want it to 
to go across this particular area here, the entrance, and actually drain to another spot in our vertical profile. Because as you see, this is all draining downhill to a low point down here at the bottom. So we can actually come in here and we can edit the profile geometry just like any other vertical profile. We can add a PVI right here in the center. All right, and then we can actually grab that PVI and move it up. So what did that just do? That limits the water that's actually coming down this gutter line right here. So it's not going to come across and go into that cul-de-sac. And the reason that is is because we've, we've grabbed the vertical alignment and, and created a trough basically across that intersection. We can put uh, vertical curves in this also. But my main concern was showing you that you can actually adjust that, that connective alignment profile up and down also and add specific geometry to that. So I hope you see the benefit of using connected alignments in your roadway design. I hope that the information in this video has helped you to understand one of the new features inside of Civil 3D 2018. I want to thank you for watching and have a great day.